Anything that really scares you, anything that intimidates you? The end of my playing career. Big time. And when I'm playing football during those seven months out of the year, it's easy. You're focused. You know, you've you got a goal. You've got something you're trying to accomplish. And when that's done, you don't have 80,000 people screaming your name. I mean, what's it going to be? God, that was, he's wow. a baby. That was baby Brady. That was back in time, baby Tom Brady back in 2005, reflecting on what the end of his career could look like. Well, here we are. 23 seasons in the NFL, 20 of them in New England. He won six of his seven Super Bowl rings while he was with the Patriots. Few people had a better advantage point uh, on Brady's astonishing career than the owner of the Patriots, Mr. Robert Kraft, and he joins us now. Good morning, Bob. How you doing? Good morning. Great to be with you on this topic. Hey, thank Bob, have you spoken to Tom? Actually, I uh, we we've talked a lot, and uh, he he FaceTimed me yesterday. Not nothing about this. Just you know, it was the first day, and um, he had his two younger children with him, and uh, he really seemed happy, and they were happy, and I I loved it because his little daughter said, well, both of these kids, they call me RKK. <laughs> and they say, we miss you. We haven't seen you. And it was, and you know, it's just, Tommy, he's a fierce competitor, but he brings love and uh, a great warm feeling to everything he does. And I, here he is in his house in a time like this, and his kids are exuding love to someone else and warm feelings. And that's what he did and does, even in the huddle, as fierce as a competitor as he is, he gets people to come in to be connected as part of the team and feel very special. Yeah. Just with that, I mean, we could end the interview there, but we, t we told our viewers no one had more insight than well, Bob true. Graff, right? And also, you know, for our viewers who might not know, you really loved him like a son. That's how you've described the relationship between the two of you guys, right? And I wonder if you can take us into, because remember, he was the, you're the owner of the Patriots. You guys draft him. He's 199th draft pick. And then look what he turns out to be and look what he does for the franchise. Yeah, I think um, the good thing for us as the Patriots is when he played at Michigan, I don't think they realized how special he was and, uh, because he should have been the number one pick in the draft, not 199 in the sixth round. And um, when he came in to us, you know, I never, I'll share a story. Um, it was near the end of training camp and I was driving out and he was coming down the steps of our little building and um, he had a pizza under his arm from the food service. And he came up to me and said, hi, I'm Tom Brady. Uh, I said, I know who you are. You're a six round draft pick from Michigan. <laughs> and he looked me in the eye and he said, I'm the best choice your franchise, I'm the best decision your franchise has ever made. Mm -hmm. And I looked him in the eye and you know, he just said it in a way. Now, you you got to understand, we just gave $100 million, the biggest contract to any quarterback to Drew Bledsoe uh, just before this, a few months before. And he was number four in our depth chart. He came down, and he really believed what he said. Mm -hmm. He certainly did. And he was right. And that's <laughs> You took the words out of my mouth. I was just going uh, gonna to say that. Bob, are you, um, did you want him to retire this before? Did you think he should have come back this past season? You know, there are certain decisions in life that um, I always believe in giving counsel and trying to be supportive, but only an individual on his own can make a decision like that. They can ask 
No one knows the different pressures, what alternatives are open to them in this game, how their body feels physically, um, whether there's something that's dysfunctional that won't allow them to perform the way they want. Because in the end, the real competitors in this game are playing to win every week. Mm. And if something's dysfunctional in their body, you know, that can take away from it. You know, we're a little bit two week, less than two weeks away from the big game, Super Bowl. You guys got six Super Bowl rings together. I wonder, was it Brady? Was it Belichick? Who was more responsible, do you think, for all those Super Bowl wins? Well, um, when we, this is our 29th season we just completed. Yeah. And we were privileged to go to 10 Super Bowls uh, and win six of them. Um, and what I learned is mm -hmm. it's a lot of things. It's, it's probably the sport of football and winning in it requires team effort like nothing else, which is so important for our society. And you need great stars like Belichick and Brady, but you need a lot of other people pulling in the same direction. In the end, though, to answer your question, you can't win if you don't have a good coach and a good quarterback. Amen. I was blessed to have both of that. Mm -hmm. Probably the best in the history of the game. You know, I think back whether there's over 25,000 or 30,000 players who played football. How lucky are we up here in New England to have the greatest that's ever played and really play for us for 20% of the history of the league in 100 odd years. I don't think there are too many quarterbacks that have played for one team. Yeah. Bob, you're so right about having um, a great coach. And, and then, you know, he, Tom needed good people around him. We talked to uh, yesterday mm -hmm. to John Berman, who's a you know, Tom Brady super fan. He said he just didn't have the support that he had around him when he was with you guys. My question, though, is are there any plans, Bob, to make sure that he retires? Are you going to sign him to a one-day contract? <laughs> Do you want him back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To retire a patriot. I'll do it tomorrow. For him uh, to retire a patriot oh, is a question. Not, not only do I want it, our fans are clamoring for it. And to us, he is always has been and always will be a patriot. And we will be bringing him back um, after I have not. I don't like to make a commitment for him, but we will do everything in our power to bring him back have him sign off as a patriot nice. and find ways to honor him for many years to come because he did so much to bring life and good cheer to our community. And he's a beloved figure and he's earned the respect and love that people feel for him like no other athlete in our town. And we've had some great ones. Yeah. You think it's fair, Poppy, to call that breaking news? I mean, Bob. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's so nice to get to hear from you, Bob, this morning. Hey, Bob, before him. we before we go, yeah. though, I mean, it, look, he's like a son. So while well, you have this audience here on CNN, I know you're you're going to miss him. I know you missed him when he left the Patriots, but you still were in contact contact with him. You love his family. What are your parting words? Because I know you love him like a son. Well, Tommy, I'm always here for you. You're you are part of our family, um, you know, and part of he was blessed having great parents. His mom and dad are super people. He's got three great sisters. And I was thinking about it. He was the baby, you know, and so to have four great women like that and then a role model and for him not to be super spoiled. I don't know how it happened, you know, out there in. <laughs> California area where everything is a little different than it is here in the Northeast. <laughs> he just, <laughs> we, 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 I tell you, I just love the guy so much and there isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. And I think 
he can do a lot of good things for America and reach out to a lot of people. And thank you for the time you gave us. And everyone here in the New England region loves you and respects you and wants happiness for you in your life. So, so nice. well said. Bob Kraft, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Good to see you. Be well. Thanks, Poppy. Thanks, Don. Right. Great to talk to you both.